Hello, hello, gang. Kim here, and welcome on back to My Happy Place. Today's unboxing video is going to be from one of my favorite Diamond Art Club artists, and that is the very famous and well-known Christopher Lovell. So I'm going to be doing an unboxing today of this gorgeous piece that you can see on your screen now. This is called Plague Doctor. It's a round drill diamond painting. Um, and how I know that, obviously, because uh, there is a pink circle on the box and it very clearly says round diamonds. Um, over and above that, you've got all the details here. It's a 55.8 centimeters by 78.7 centimeter canvas. Um, just about the box, as I've explained, this is how you know if the diamonds are round or squares. It will say that here, and it also says it on the side of the box. So depending on how you store your boxes, you'll be able to distinguish your round from your square drill kits. Um, lastly, about the box, guys, always take note of this on the one side of the box. It is a discount coupon or code. You scan this for 10% off your order. So I'm not going to say anything more about the box. As always, I'm now going to take a very quick break just to unbox this and to get everything out on the table so that you don't have to see me struggling with the unboxing. Okay, gang, so I have taken the contents of the box out of the box. I have got the canvas lying flat here in the background, but before we get to that, let's have a quick look at what you will find in a Diamond Art Club kit. So firstly, you will receive a thank you note um, by the founder, Angie. If you have a look inside this brochure, you will also find a link to the Facebook group. So once you have placed your first order with Diamond Art Club, you're entitled to join that VIP Facebook group. And you will also find another discount code over there. So that's basically nice to remember about that. Then we have the very small sticker that comes... In the box this is obviously to put on the side of your box depending how you store your boxes you can put the sticker on the side that's what i do because i store my boxes in a certain way that i can't actually see the thumbnail you know on the front of the box uh, over and above that you then have your sticker sheet so this gives you the details of the artwork including the size and the shape of the drills obviously this is a much bigger um, sticker and so you've got a bigger picture of the image and then the start and end date so this side is obviously meant for your logbook I do keep a logbook and so I cut this out and I put it into my logbook and then of course your stickers so they are pre-cut I just had to check for a second that these ones were but as you can see there these stickers are pre-cut so very easy to remove and to put onto your containers and all of this white here, don't just throw this out, guys, because these are, in fact, little stickers as well. So I tend to keep these stickers as spares so that when I'm kitting up, if I'm kitting up into more than one container, I can use these to write the DMC number on and put them on the container. So, yes, yeah, so that is the sticker sheet, obviously. Then you also get your drills. Um, the drills always have a little sticker on the front that links to the painting. It gives you the name and the number. So if you store your drills separately, you can obviously know which drills go with which painting. As you can see here, guys, <laughs> very dark and neutral colors in this painting. So yes, that should be fun. Not a big pack of drills, but again, this whole painting only has 19 colors. And then the toolkit. I've decided I'm not going to go into detail about the toolkit. Most of you are experienced diamond painters. You know exactly what comes in these toolkits. Um, if you aren't experienced, I will tell you that you do get a pen, a tray, you get some wax, you get a few multi places, and you get some extra baggies. But what I do want to show you, because I want to see myself, is the washi tape. And, oh, that's different. Don't have one of these in my stash. And the cover mind, I wanted to say. 
So this is the cover minder. <laughs> it's a cute little apple. It's a very, very small little cover minder, this one. Um, oh, it actually says love on it. I didn't even notice that at first. So this is the cover minder. Obviously, it has the magnet at the back, so you can fold back sections of the clear cover over the painting and hold it back with this cover minder. And then the washi tape. Okay, this is just a, a florally type pattern you can see there. Do we have some birds? No, it's not birds. It's just all flowers. So that's great to have because I do use these to section off my canvases. To those of you who, I mean, if you're wanting a more in-depth look at the toolkit and what comes in the toolkit, please just check out any of my other videos. Oh, just quickly, this is a different color pen, guys. Can't say I've got one of those in my stash. But anyway, as I was saying, just check out any of my other unboxing videos. You can go to the playlists on my channel and there you will see all the unboxings. Most of my other unboxings have a full review of the toolkit. Okay, so now what we've all been waiting for. I didn't even get a proper good look at this canvas, you guys, because I just sort of rolled it backwards and put it down. So let's have a look. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> I'm sure this is not all in frame, so I'm just going to pan up and down as I always do. I'm just having a look as we go. This image is very, very clear. I mean, obviously, the rendering just looks fantastic. So I think that's pretty much to the bottom. There's the bottom there. So if I turn it sideways, do you get a little bit more of a, of a view of it? I think so. Oh, wow. I can't wait to work on this one. As I mentioned, um, Christopher Lovell is one of my favorite, if not my absolute favorite DAC artist. And this one is just going to be so great. I love the style of artwork. I love the dark art vibes. Um, just so you know, I'm actually unboxing it now because I need to kit it up before March. Because I'm actually entering this one into a number of events. There are quite a lot of events. Well, three, two, three, four. I think maybe about four events in March that I can use this canvas for. There is actually a Christopher Lovell event. There's a dark art event. Then Knox is also hosting a dark art type event. Those are the three that spring to mind, but I actually think there were four. Anyway, there are three or four that I'll be entering this canvas into. But I think actually before I turn it on its side like that, let me keep it like this because there are a few things I want to show you guys. So the legend... There is one in the top left-hand corner, as you can see, and then another one in the bottom right-hand corner here. The canvas is very soft and velvety. This one isn't quite as velvety as some Diamond Art Club canvases, but still a lovely canvas. You can see the scalloped edges here, which stops the canvas from, from fraying and stops you from getting little pieces of cotton onto your canvas and onto the glue. I think I mentioned already that this one has a total of 19 colors and I am super excited about that. I've been doing a few paintings recently with a lot of colors and so this really appeals to me to have so few colors. And ABs, we have two ABs in this kit, looks like an orange and the white, of course there would be the white one for one. <laughs> this AB is definitely in every single DAC kit. So yes, two ABs here. How you know the ABs is that any number under 150. So any DMC number that is under 150 is an AB. So in this case, you can see that there are two of them. Um, I did already give you the stats, but just to refresh your memory, the size on this one is 55.8 centimeters by 78.7 centimeters. And it is a round drill kit. Oh, I can't wait to work on this one. Well, the colors, I think you can already see the colors are going to be very muted. Lots of blacks and browns and beige and so on. Um, let me bring the drill field up closer to the camera so you can have a look. Very, very clear drill field. And also what else we can see having a close-up look like this is nice areas of color blocking here. But then if we move across, for example, to here, you will see there are... Definitely patches of confetti there. Um, let's have a look at the bird. 
where we can get some color so there you can see oh sorry guys this can <laughs> let me do this this canvas is quite difficult to maneuver so yes there you can see some some more of the drill field and then up here i'm trying to see if this is confetti or color blocking mm, a little bit of both <laughs> Uh, there are a few color changes in this section, but also looks like a bit of line blocking there. We will be able to get out my, my multi-placer and do lines. So I'm just scanning across here so that you can get a feeling for the quality of, or a feel for, I should say, the quality of the symbols. As always, absolutely excellent. Um, just completely clear nothing is blurry everything looks great so very excited to work on this one um i don't think there's much else to say about the canvas i mean obviously the point of doing an unboxing really is to show you what the artwork itself looks like and the rendering i think the rendering looks stunning everything is extremely clear I've been working on squares lately and so I can definitely tell this is around because <laughs> the symbols and, and the, you know, where you're going to, the drill field, I should say, the symbols just look a bit bigger, which they are. I'm sure most of you know round drills are slightly bigger than square drills. So I think for now, I mean, that's given you a good idea of what this canvas looks like. I think we should take a closer look at the drills. So... So there we go guys, the drills are all on your screen now. Like I mentioned already, lots of dark colors with some beigey, lighter colors, and then there are a couple of ABs. So just to have a very quick look, some of these strands are longish. I'm not going to mention each and every DMC number, I don't think, but let's just quickly have a look at the colors in general. That's the 413. You guys all know the famous three tens, four bags of three tens. Then we've got three seven nine nine, three bags of that, nine three eight, and four one four. And then here is quite a big packet of ABs. This is the white AB, the one four one. Then we've got some browns some lighter brown and then we're moving on to some beige type of colors three bags of the 3033 which is this beige color then we're getting on to the bags with fewer drills here's the only pop of color 740 that's an orange color that's Going on to the bird, a little bit of red, some more browns. And then here is the orange AB. Tiny amount of drills here, guys. <laughs> I think these are not going to be found very frequently on the canvas. Um, it is a little bit of a pet hate of mine. Like if you're going to put ABs on a canvas, give us some ABs. You're probably not even going to use half this bag of ABs. As you can see there, not, not many in there at all. But anyway, at least we have two ABs. So guys, those are all the drills. There really isn't very much to show you in terms of the drills. But before I sign off, let me just give you one final look at this canvas. So what we can see here, obviously, is that the only area of slight color is here in the bird in his hand and at the end of his um but that is really the only color in this piece the rest are going to be dull colors but that actually doesn't bother me i do tend to love my bright colors but every now and then a canvas like this i really enjoy and a lot of christopher lovell's canvases do look like this so like i say i'll be using this one for a lot of events i'm excited to get started with it and my post review will obviously follow well, I'll only be working on this one in March, so it's still quite a while until you're going to see a post review. Anyway, those of you who are Christopher Lovell fans, please let me know down in the comments below and maybe share with me which is your favorite Christopher Lovell piece. I have a good few favorites and it's hard to pick. 
I think probably the my favorite that I've got in my stash is probably Medusa. I haven't done it yet. It's a huge piece, but that one I've seen completed and it just looks absolutely stunning. Other than that, guys, I hope you all enjoy the month of March and all the events that are taking place. It does seem to be a good month for those of us that like the dark arts. So, gang, happy diamond painting. Bye.